All right, folks, how are we doing today? I got uh, August 21st. You can see the Allegiant Stadium here right behind me where my thumb is, right above my thumb. There's uh, some parking spaces over here, okay, for the Allegiant Stadium that they will allow for parking if needed, okay? I'm over here on Valley View and uh, Graphic Center. Behind me is, uh, let's see here, Tropicana, okay? so. There's also other attractions like the uh, Madara, uh, Aria, okay? But for the most part, back to what I was saying, uh, or what I wanted to talk about here, we got the SummerSlam going on right now, okay? And this event, I didn't know, started at five o'clock. So uh, that should be a lot of fun. Uh, you got guys like uh, John Cena, I know a lot of the older guys. Uh, Goldberg is gonna be uh, competing for the WWE Championship. Some other uh, old, older guys like uh, Rey Mysterio, uh, Edge from back in the day, okay, from the, that tag team group, Edge and Christian. Uh, he's a solo wrestler now. That was like 20 years ago, 30, uh, 30 years ago, these guys. And you also have a lot of new acts and so forth, okay? Um, so those are going to be the matchups today. All right, a lot of the newer guys I'm not uh, familiar with, but a lot, yeah, a lot of the oh, some of the older guys. Now, one thing I didn't know was Goldberg. This was back in the day with WCW, and back then, let's say in the late '90s, 2000s, him and I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sting. They did not want to go to the WWE, but now I guess you know they're able to get a shot to wrestle at the WWE and so forth. And uh, wow, I was like, man, you know, and this guy's like, I think in his middle 50s, he looks great. Uh, Rey Mysterio and his brother are wrestling, okay? Uh, those guys are still around from back in the day. Actually, Rey Mysterio's got like three brothers that wrestle and so forth. Uh, they're very bad athletic, very acrobatic wrestlers, okay? Uh, and Edge, uh, a very talented stuntman type wrestler, okay? From that, you know, they used to throw up tables and chairs and all that ladders, okay? So, uh, you know, he's still around. It's, and they ha also have uh, several women that's gonna be wrestling. I'm not familiar with many of the women, okay? But they're gonna have some uh, women's uh, like tag team and women's uh, world wrestling championship matches as well. So it'll be a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, this event, I didn't know, but they must have just announced it, that you have to be vaccinated to go to this event, okay? I don't know if that's official, but I just dropped somebody off uh, at the uh, this event just now, and he was saying that he uh, got vaccinated from a Walmart, but yeah, that's what he said. So, uh, maybe I'll get a, a different video for that uh, if any other event other than the NFL home games or whatever, but that's what he was saying. Uh, I don't know if that's 100% uh, yet, but uh, I'm just saying that's what that young man said that I just dropped off. This uh, area here, you may want to any event at that stadium behind me. You may want to get here an hour to an hour and a half prior, okay? So where, you know, you could be able to to uh, get here in a timely manner, get uh, your parking, you don't get stuck in traffic. You probably want to go from Valley View, okay? So you guys are not familiar uh, of this area. All right, take, uh, table this thought. So behind me, that runs parallel to Valley View, about a mile. This is headed east, is uh, Interstate 15. A su suggestion is you may want to get off at Tropicana I just showed you about just a minute ago. Come here to Valley View and then come in from the west side to the stadium, okay? From back here. Or you could head 15 south, it'll be 215 to go to the airport. You go west, go one exit down, okay? Uh, it's to Decatur. Let's see, you at Decatur, go up to probably Hacienda, 
then you're gonna make a right. All right, so you guys know about sense of direction, all right? Um, you guys can reference where the stadium is. I'm sorry, man, I'm tripping over these rocks. Just reference the stadium there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the, of how to uh, approach the stadium, be it dropping off people or picking people up. You may want to table this thought as well as if you do Uber or Lyft or whatever. If you're gonna go pick up some family from the stadium or if you're gonna take an Uber or Lyft to the stadium, okay? Uh, parking, I wanted to remind you guys that you're gonna to have to pay a fee to park. For the home games, they're $100. As you move out of the stadium, a half a mile, the, mo, mo, a lot of the parking is gonna be in a lot of these warehouse uh, buildings and there's a elevated parking lot right behind me, if needed, that they'll open that uh, particular parking space up and that'll probably range between maybe, let's say, $75 or $40, okay? as you move away from the stadium. So you could park, oh, let's say behind me for like 40, 50 bucks, but let's say where that elevated parking lot uh, is right behind me, that's like a half a mile from the stadium. Okay, so keep that in mind. Yeah, but the WWE is going on SummerSlam. Uh, it's gonna be a great event, a lot of fun. If Man, if my kids were here, I would love to take them. I don't know about the vaccination thing, Okay, uh, so that and maybe I'll try to do some more events when I'm around this area, okay? But other than that, you guys enjoy yourselves tonight. They also had the Packwell fight tonight, okay? At the T-Mobile Arena. I did a video on that last night if you look at my video history, all right? I was down on, um, on Flamingo over right by the Bellagio and the Cromwell. So there'll be a lot of people for that tonight. So we'll have some things going on to attract tourists here to Las Vegas and so forth, okay? Uh, although many people have uh, rolled back on their trips with this mask mandate. So I guess, you know, they're getting so the uh, hotels and all that different businesses and corporations are getting to where they have to find now uh, Elaborate, elaborate ways to bring tourism here as well.